Hi, Mark Esper. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. It took seven months, but the United States finally has a Senate-confirmed Secretary of Defense. On Tuesday, Mark Esper was officially sworn in as the new leader of the Department of Defense and the Pentagon. It is an honor of a lifetime to be appointed Secretary of Defense and to lead the greatest military in history. And I will do so with that same energy and commitment to duty, honor, and country that I have for nearly four decades since my early days at West Point. The swearing-in comes after 90 Senate members voted in favor of confirming Mark Esper as the new Secretary of Defense. The vote followed a confirmation hearing that left lawmakers from both parties impressed. During his confirmation hearing, Dr. Esper revealed his clear understanding of what needs to be done on the national security front. The 55-year-old began his career by serving as an infantry officer during the first Gulf War. He was on active duty for more than 10 years before alternating between positions at think tanks, defense contractors and political campaigns. Esper was Army Secretary when Jim Mattis, the former Secretary of Defense, resigned on New Year's Eve. Mattis offered his resignation after a series of policy issues with Donald Trump. That sent the Department of Defense and the Pentagon into seven months of turmoil, with the position remaining vacant since January. Last week, Esper said one of his first priorities would be to fix the problem of leadership vacancies. Another challenge for Esper will be to regain the power to set the Department of Defense's agenda.